So welcome to Afronix at How in Kitchen. And today we're going to be making a fruity pizza. I said fruity pizza! Now that was not Italian whatsoever, so why I did that, I do not know. Let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, the ingredients. Let's start with the crust. So first we will need some figs. These are sun-dried figs and they have been unsulfured. We also have some dates. Now these dates you may not be able to see. I have them soaking in water so that I can squeeze out the pits and it softens them. That will be your crust. For the sauce we're going to use strawberries and we're going to use the water from the soaked dates. Um, and then for our toppings, I have maca, which I have put into trunks, and then we will then shred it in our food processor. I do not know why I'm still talking this way. I don't even know what accent I have. I think I'm just mixing a bunch of them together. <laughs> now it's starting to sound like a little Canadian or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And then we have pineapple. And then also more strawberries. So you will need a food processor and you will need a Vitamix blender or some kind of a blender. This is getting up to be high speed because we're just going to use it for sauce. Okay, so what are we going to do first? How about we do the crust? So let's take some of our figs and let's take the top things off of them also and put those in our food processor and we're going to do that along with our pitted dates eggs and my dates which I have squeezed the pits out of and I put them into the food processor okay so I'm going to process them just by pushing the chop button kind of up and down until it gets the texture that I'm looking for I've gotten the crust to the consistency that I am looking for, and that just depends on your preference. Kind of sticks together, but it's not um, super sticky. And then all I'm going to do is I just have a regular plate. You can use a pizza pan if you wish. But I'm just going to use a regular plate and scoop it out on to the plate and create my dough. With wet hands, I'm going to form the crust. Just going to make a nice round shape. The best. Voila! I went ahead and put my hamaka in the food processor and just um, kept pressing the chop button. I have a chop and a, and a grind button on mine. And I just kept pressing it until I got a um, a cheese like consistency on that and then for the sauce I'm going to make in the Vitamix and I just put some strawberries in and a little bit of the water from the soap to dates and I will just um, blend that so I get the texture that I want and I may even throw in a few dates that's another option also you want to do that to make it a little bit sweeter. This is the consistency that I got for the sauce. So I'm just going to take it and put it on the pizza along with your cheese. And then I'm using this topping, strawberries, which I'll slice, and pineapple. Here is the finished product. If you like more videos like this, please comment below and give this video a thumbs up.